Have you ever thought about what could suddenly trigger a shift in our planet's climate? And I don't mean gradual changes over centuries, but a dramatic near instantaneous switch. Well, around 12,900 years ago, that's precisely what seemed to have happened in a period called the Younger Dryas. But what if this sudden climate shift was not due to terrestrial events, but rather a result of a catastrophic cosmic encounter? Yes, we're delving into the realm of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis today, a controversial theory that postulates our past and potentially our future might have been or could be significantly influenced by events not just on Earth, but in the cosmos. Buckle up, because things are about to get chilling. When we think of the past, we tend to think of a linear, steady progression. But what if I told you that sometimes Mother Nature prefers to take detours? Enter the Younger Dryas, a dramatic reversal in our planet's warming trend that took place around 12,800 years ago. After the last glacial maximum, approximately 20,000 years ago, Earth had been steadily warming up. Ice sheets were retreating, and life was adapting to the post-Ice Age world. However, this warming suddenly reversed around 12,800 years ago in an event we now call the Younger Dryas. Within a decade, temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere plummeted, causing a rapid expansion of ice sheets and a sudden shift in ecosystems. This period is named after a flower, Dryas octopetala, an alpine species well adapted to cold conditions. The dramatic increase in the pollen of this plant in sediment layers from this time is a testament to the sudden shift to colder conditions. Imagine a world where in a human's lifetime, familiar landscapes transformed into frozen tundra. Rivers that once flowed freely froze over, and the great mammals of the Ice Age, like the woolly mammoth and saber-toothed cats that were on the decline, got an extended lease on life, though ultimately short-lived. Now, the Younger Dryas lasted for approximately 1,200 years, and then almost as abruptly as it started, it ended. Around 11,600 years ago, temperatures started to rise and within a human lifespan, they increased by about 7 degrees C in Greenland, signaling the end of this cold snap and the beginning of the current interglacial period, the Holocene. This dramatic period of climatic upheaval left a deep impression on the planet and potentially on the humans that lived through it. Now, the question that has sparked numerous debates among scientists is, what caused the Younger Dryas? When we think about extinction events and dramatic shifts in the Earth's climate, our minds often leap to the impact theory. We've all heard about the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. But could a similar celestial event be responsible for the sudden cooling during the Younger Dryas period? The Younger Dryas impact theory, also known as the Clovis Comet theory, suggests that a massive impact or airburst from a comet or meteorite occurred around 12,800 years ago, triggering this sharp return to near glacial conditions. This hypothesis was first proposed in 2007 by a team of scientists who found evidence of an extraterrestrial impact layer at multiple sites across North America. This layer is rich in magnetic grains with iridium, magnetic microspherules, charcoal, soot and fullerenes with extraterrestrial helium, all of which are evidence for an impact event. This evidence, they proposed, suggested a cosmic impact event that caused large-scale wildfires, disruption of ecosystems and the rapid cooling effect leading to the Younger Dryas. The theory also proposes that this impact event led to the extinction of many of the North American megafauna, such as the woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats, and disrupted the Clovis culture, one of the earliest known human cultures in the Americas. The potential impact site has been a topic of discussion and investigation, with the younger, driest boundary-strewn fields stretching across several continents. One possible crater, the Hiawatha Glacier Impact Crater in Greenland, is currently a strong candidate. However, the impact theory has been controversial since its inception, facing considerable challenges and sparking heated debates in the scientific community. After all, a cataclysmic event of this scale would leave a substantial footprint in the geological record. So why do we see inconsistencies in the data, and why do some researchers struggle to find the evidence others claim is clear? Let's delve into the controversy and the ongoing hunt for definitive evidence. Evidence is the cornerstone of any scientific hypothesis. So, what evidence supports the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis? 
It's a multidisciplinary puzzle with pieces drawn from archaeology, geology, paleontology, and even astronomy. To start, there is a distinctive layer of sediment known as the Younger Dryas Boundary, YDB. This layer, dated to approximately 12,800 years ago, is found at various sites around the world, and it's notable for its high concentration of soot, indicative of widespread wildfires. This soot layer could suggest that an extensive burning event occurred around the time of the hypothesized impact, potentially due to a fiery airburst or impact event. This boundary layer also contains unusually high concentrations of nanodiamonds and magnetic spherules. Nanodiamonds can form under the extreme pressures and temperatures generated by an impact event, while magnetic spherules are small. Spherical particles often associated with meteor impacts or volcanic activity. Moreover, scientists have identified a nearly 20-mile-wide crater beneath the Hiawatha Glacier in northwest Greenland. The age of this crater is not yet precisely determined, but some evidence suggests it could be as young as 12,800 years, coinciding with the start of the Younger Dryas. There's also the puzzle of the megafauna extinction. The Younger Dryas period aligns with a major extinction event, particularly in North America, where many large animal species disappeared. The sudden nature of this extinction event fits with an abrupt, catastrophic event like a comet impact. However, it's worth noting that this evidence is still under debate within the scientific community. Several counter-arguments challenge the interpretations of the data, with critics arguing that there could be other explanations for these observations. As with any good scientific inquiry, the theory continues to be tested and refined and it's this rigorous examination that pushes our understanding forward. The Younger Dryas impact hypothesis has sparked its fair share of academic debates. After all, it proposes a major abrupt event that significantly altered the course of Earth's climate and ecosystems, a claim that naturally invites rigorous scrutiny. One of the key criticisms concerns the age and origins of the Hiawatha crater in Greenland. While some evidence might suggest the crater was formed around the start of the Younger Dryas, the exact dating is not yet definitive. Critics also point out that the impact crater could have formed from a much earlier event, unrelated to the Younger Dryas period. A second point of contention revolves around the nano-diamonds and magnetic spherules found in the Younger Dryas boundary layer. Critics argue that these tiny structures could have formed through other processes unrelated to a cosmic impact, such as forest fires or volcanic eruptions. The theory also fails, in the eyes of some scientists, to sufficiently explain the uneven pattern of extinction during the Younger Dryas. While many large species went extinct in North America, the extinction patterns elsewhere in the world are less clear-cut. How would an impact event selectively cause extinctions in one area and not another? Finally, the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis is also challenged by alternative theories for the climate change. For instance, some researchers favor the idea that changes in ocean circulation caused the rapid cooling, possibly due to massive freshwater influx from melting ice sheets. In the grand scheme of things, the controversy surrounding the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis serves as a valuable reminder of how science progresses. Hypotheses are proposed, evidence is examined, and ideas are challenged. This process, while often contentious, is necessary for refining our understanding and moving science forward. It's the nature of the scientific method in its quest for truth. The implications of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, if confirmed, would be far-reaching, reshaping our understanding of Earth's history and the forces that have shaped our world. Firstly, it would mean that cosmic impacts could have a much more direct and immediate influence on Earth's climate than previously thought. An impact event could rapidly change global temperatures, significantly affect the biosphere and potentially drive mass extinctions. This would underscore the importance of monitoring near-Earth objects and furthering our understanding of cosmic threats to our planet. Secondly, the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis implies a potential link between cosmic events and human history. The Younger Dryas period coincides with the rise of agriculture and the onset of the Neolithic Revolution. The shift from nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyles to settled farming communities in various parts of the world. If a catastrophic event like a comet impact triggered the climate changes that ushered in this period, then that means the trajectory of human civilization as we know it might have been shaped in part by a cosmic event. 
Finally, it also raises questions about our future. If such an event were to occur today, the consequences would be devastating. Modern society, with its complex infrastructure and reliance on technology, would be drastically affected by sudden climate changes. Not only does the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis prompt us to delve into our past, but it also forces us to consider our future in a cosmic context. In that way, it's more than just a scientific theory. It's a perspective-altering concept that invites us to ponder our place in the universe and our vulnerability to the cosmos, and so we find ourselves in the wake of a chilling realization. If the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis holds, not only does it reshape our understanding of our planet's history and the powerful, possibly cosmic forces that have shaped it, but it also compels us to consider our precarious position in the universe. An unpredictable cosmic event could, in theory, at any moment trigger an abrupt and catastrophic change on Earth. But remember, while this might seem alarming, it's also a testament to our constant pursuit of understanding the world we live in and beyond, even when that understanding challenges our assumptions and forces us to confront our vulnerabilities. After all, as we navigate this cosmic journey, it's worth remembering, we're not just observers of the universe, we are participants. And as always, thanks for watching.